everyone. I often have people call my office and it's usually a friend or a spouse that was arrested and detained for what they consider a minor offense and now they are worried about deportation. Perhaps they had a deportation order entered against them and they can't understand why this happened or they want to stop it when they only committed a few minor offenses. Today, I will talk about what this is, crimigration, and what it might mean for you or your family. My name is Raluca Hanea. I provide immigration, estate planning, and family law services for my clients. Nina Clear, my marketing and office manager, is here with me. Uh, we really appreciate all your likes and shares and comments as they help others to see our video. Will you define crimigation for us? Sure, it is when criminal law, usually based on local laws, and immigration based on federal law, combined with local law enforcement enforcing federal laws. We see that in Gwinnett County, where my office is located, because the sheriff entered into a 287G agreement, this is what it's called, with ICE, as I spoke about a few weeks ago in a video. So how has crimigation led to immigrants being treated differently? One, it has become easier for the federal government to exclude or not let in or deport or remove a migrant. Second, the criminal justice system has started to focus on immigration more than it did in the past. And third, law enforcement and prosecutors have focused their enforcement tactics to make the law more punitive towards migrants. Additional, additionally, many people in the immigration field have noted that people of color are being targeted by local law enforcement in higher numbers. And though, excuse me, and though several studies have shown that non-citizens actually commit fewer crimes than citizens, Crimigation has led to a higher arrest rate of non-citizens and higher deportation numbers, right? That's right. In addition to negatively impacting non-citizens, it has led to all states having to pay more for increased immigration enforcement while, <clears throat> while seeing very little benefit, usually. And we know in Gwinnett County, people who are arrested are asked their immigration status, and they are often put in an ice hold when they don't have a legal status. That's right. Is there a limit to how long you can be held for ICE by local law enforcement? Under the law, it is only supposed to be 48 hours. Um, people have experienced longer holds throughout the country, but ICE has an office at Gwinnett County and usually people are put into ICE custody sooner here. Okay, so back to someone calling about what they think is a minor issue but now they're worried about deportation, etc. Well, you always need to be worried when you do not have a legal status that you could be stopped, arrested, and deported. As a reminder, our office supports legal immigration and encourages everyone who does not have a legal status to obtain one as soon as possible. The impact of crimigration is hard not only on those without a legal status but also on those who have a legal status and minor crimes. Depending on the sentence uh, your crime can have, whether you are sentenced for the entire length or not, you can be deported and sometimes make it so that you can never enter U.S. again or for at least 10 years. Okay, so it sounds like committing a minor crime can have a disproportionate effect on your life. It can. Uh, one of the big problems is that U.S. Supreme Court has said that deportation is not a punishment. Therefore, if you have a hearing in immigration court, you must be able to hire your own attorney because one will not be provided for you as one would be in a criminal court uh, if, they, if you meet certain criteria. You also lose other rights like being able to question witnesses or having certain rules of evidence to be followed. And even if you are in criminal court, 
most criminal lawyers don't know very much, if anything, about immigration. So they might not realize that what they need to do, what they need to do to protect your status. So if a person with no legal status or they have a legal status but they're not a citizen is arrested, do you recommend that they hire both a criminal and immigration attorney? Yes. You really want to ensure that your current status or the ability to obtain a status aren't impacted by arrest or criminal convictions. It is much more difficult or maybe impossible to fix your situation when you have an order of deportation than it was at the beginning of the whole process when you should have gotten an immigration attorney involved. So this is all for today. Thank you for all your shares, likes, and comments, as well as to everyone who watched our video. Please reach out to us if you have been arrested. We are always here to help. See you soon.